morning, good morning. We are back in the Mini X. And uh, today, taking that pile of stuff, putting it in that dumpster, and uh, clearing everything out, getting it ready to go. So of course, we are pounding away, trying to get this stuff done. And uh, we have hydraulic fluid leaking all over. I'm not really sure what it's from, but uh, it looks like I may have just kind of bumped the line with a stick or a branch or something like that. So I'm gonna check that out real quick, just make sure everything's good, try and uh, tighten everything up and just see if that helps and we'll go from there so that's basically what I did if you can see this bracket here came loose looks like I uh, must have hit it with a tree got it pretty good and uh, bent it a little bit fitting came a little loose um, the leak seems to be stopped currently but uh, I'll have to look into that, just keep an eye on it. And uh, I am sure right now I am probably low on hydraulic fluid, but I will have to grab some of that and get everything done and finished. Till then, we will just kind of see what happens. I got most of this pile down and the dumpster is just about full and I'm going to kind of get up there climb on it and get everything pushed down so that way when they come they don't complain and tell me that I got anything over the top so we'll get that and see what happens next I'll keep you guys watching first uh dumpster is all full I do have some left and right on cue we got another dumpster coming in and uh I'm gonna fill that one up and get the rest of this debris out of here and be done with this job because I'm over it. So with that pouring out and leaking, um, I got Alex and called him and he is going to bring me some hydraulic fluid and uh, I'm going to keep rocking this thing until I can't anymore. The controls are real touchy, real pain in my but I got to get this job done and uh, I gotta make some money so I can pay to fix this thing and pay for all sorts of other stuff because I'm broke.
butane. Got some new hydraulic fluid in. Um, also did notice this fitting here was a little loose. Um, the whole bar is tweaked from that stump that fell and hit it. I actually look back on the cameras and you can kind of see where the stump falls and kind of hits that and hits the machine right there too. And uh, I mean, it's just part of working. And uh, I will say I'm not excited to have to fix it, but I will be fixing it and probably get a whole new line or at least take this off, straighten everything out, check the line, probably put some new O-rings in it, drain it out and fix that. Um, I am waiting. So this whole pile of trees here, I can have somebody come and take them. There's a guy who says he's going to meet me here soon. I'm going to load those up. I have just a little pile left and whatever's left, I'm going to just basically cram into my own dump trailer and I'll probably have to make two or three loads out of it, but I will get it done that way and get the rest of this stuff out of here. So that's what's on the agenda. I'll get you some, some more videos and I'll keep working. Yeehaw. Putting the dump trailer to use right now. All the rest of the stuff that did not fit into that dumpster, I just take out. I got a nice big open field out here and I got a little low spot. It's over here, as you can see. I took a couple loads out already. Um, I think I have one more after this one. And all I'm doing is just dumping it out and then I'll bring my machine back here and I'll kind of spread it all out and use it for some fill. And hopefully in, you know, like five, 10 years, I can use it for dirt, I guess. Fill this whole thing in and get some soil in here. We got the last little bit, and then I have that big old pile of logs to get done. It is starting to rain right now, so I'm hoping that uh, I can get this stuff done before the rain gets too crazy. I do not know if uh, I will be recording much just because of the rain, but I'll see what I can do. If not, it's not real exciting watching me dump stuff into the bucket, but who knows? and nine cents a gallon this is just ridiculous so I got three quarters of a tank it's still gonna cost like well, I'm at $45 and I have nine gallons of fuel now pretty sweet huh this needs to change
It is now about 10 o'clock at night and I just finished loading up one more load of logs and I'm going to get some straps, strap it down and uh, I think I'm going to call it a night for tonight. I need some more diesel and not only do I need some more diesel, but it's getting late and I don't want everybody here to hear me running and having logs and throwing logs and filling a trailer. So I will be back tomorrow morning to finish up.